Good afternoon and welcome to the Association of Directory Publishers webinar. I'm Lisa, Director of Operations for ADP, and today's webinar is being presented by Scott Fader of Make It Local Marketing. During the webinar, you may ask a question at any time during the presentation by using the question queue box located on the GoToWebinar dashboard. We will open it up for questions at the end of the presentation. All webinars are archived for later viewing on our website, so be on the lookout for an email announcing the availability. At this time, I would like to go ahead and introduce to you Scott Fader of Make It Local Marketing. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you to everyone who's joined us today. My name is Scott Fader. I'm President and Managing Partner at MakeItLocalMarketing.com. We have a, a nice agenda today. Um, we're going to talk about how we, as an industry, can use directory listing requests as sales leads. Sales leads, of course, for print advertising and pages, but also for digital media services. Many of you probably have internet directories already um, and get requests from time to time. Uh, we want to share some tips and best practices as to how our team is leveraging these requests uh, as sales leads to increase digital advertising revenues. Very briefly, our agenda today is, is going to be short and sweet, but we do want to have plenty of time for questions if there are any. Um, we're starting now at about 2 o'clock and have introductions, present today's topics, do a brief recap and summary, Q&A, and we hope to adjourn about 2.45, maybe 3 o'clock at the latest. So, yours truly, Scott Fader. I'm an internet directory technology provider. Uh, many of you may remember me from the days at Innovectra and Direction. I've been in this industry for a number of years as a product uh, director of Yellow Pages and as a uh, solutions provider for ADP uh, publishers and directory companies. Uh, I'm joined by David Little. David's the Senior Vice President of Sales. And David, I'll let you introduce yourself as well. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Appreciate you uh, allowing Comporium Media Services to uh, be a part of the webinar today. Uh, I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales for Comporium. Uh, in my job, I manage sales for all of our product and service offerings at Comporium, including our directory and our digital media services. I've uh, been working with Comporium and been in the uh, digital media and directory space for a little over 18 years now. Um, I work in the headquarters of Comporium, which is in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, our media services division we're, uh, not only publishes directories for the Comporium service areas, but we also partner uh, with other dependent, uh, independent communication companies uh, in the southeast and the midwest regions uh, of the U.S. Uh, in addition to publishing directories, we also offer turnkey solutions for web development, video, digital marketing services, uh, as well as social and pragmatic advertising. Um, as a wholesale media services provider, we also work with radio, newspaper, and, and media agencies to provide white-label turnkey digital services. So we're excited to, to be on the webinar today and talk about uh, how we're working with Make It Local and directory listings to, to generate a lot of those uh, leads for us. Fantastic. Thank you, David. So just to introduce our topic of conversation, we're, we're going to share how publishers like Comporium Media Services are utilizing directory listing requests as really fuel for their sales teams. We're going to describe uh, a process and how it's working for them, how it works for us, explain how listing requests are used for discovery, uh, understanding more about a advertiser's business, um, showing how new digital sales opportunities can be uncovered, uh, through that discovery process and just describe how we are able to formulate recommendations for advertisers based on a really a consultative sales approach. Um, we've watched this industry uh, change uh, dramatically over the last five or ten years. Uh, we've gone from primarily a print centric business to being an online and imprint business 
And now we are truly in the digital age where we're having print, online, and digital solutions all at once. And so we want to just describe and show how listings can really be the catalyst for growth in all of these areas. Directory listings management. This is really where it all starts. And as many of you know, have been in the business forever. Um, directory requests, uh, being listed in the phone book, uh, has been lead gen for publishers for years. Um, but now we've seen really a whole business crop up around directory listings management um, to the point where it's now considered one of the top tactics for search engine optimization. Many of you may offer directory listing syndication, uh, handling listings not only in your phone books, in your online directories, but on the throughout the internet. And we know there are three or four hundred places that a business could be could be listed. And the more uh, more places listed, the more uniform and consistent that information appears, the better off their page rank might be in, in local search. So we're also seeing well, this is quickly becoming a new revenue stream for publishers themselves. Certainly we're um, out uh, selling listing syndication services and taking care of the web presence for individual business owners and, and franchises. Just a little yes, bit Scott, of background. Would, yes, go ahead. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I was just going to mention to you, uh, I actually read an article uh, today uh, on Search Engine Land. Uh, they just published a, a new article. It was titled Local SEO in 2017. It was the five simple ways to dominate local. Uh, number one was based around just making sure that your website is, is optimized correctly for search engines. But the number two um, uh, source uh, for helping conquer local SEO was around claiming your local listings. Um, they basically said that today, um, uh, I see you have a fact here, 66% are not claimed on Yelp, 56 not claimed on Google. Uh, but the reality was that four out of five uh, consumers today are either using local directories or clicking on links from from search engine results for local directories uh, but most businesses today are not even claiming those or making sure those listings are correct so I thought that was pretty interesting uh, to see that today about how important listings are for local SEO well thank you for that comment that's really uh, impressive that it would come out today when we're having this webinar but I echo that we see it all the time um, just the fact that you know, most U.S. business directories have some 14, 15 million business listings, and our experience has been over the years that about 20% of those change every year. They're either changing their phone number, they're changing an address, they're opening a new location, maybe there's a zip code change, and so there's really a, a ripple effect of taking care of your listing and taking care of it everywhere. Uh, so you don't have duplicates, so it's accurate, and so when people are doing those local search uh, online, that they can actually find the business they're looking for and don't call the wrong number or go to a, the wrong location. So uh, as Lisa mentioned, we'll be having um, this webinar um, recorded, but also these slides will be available uh, to today's participants, and there's a reference here of uh, some of the top uh, local search insights uh, from search engine land. So you'll, we're going to give you some tips, best practices, and share this information uh, after the after today's webinar. So just a case in point, um, makeitlocal.com is uh, uh, the domain that Comporium uses for uh, their online directories. And just a quick glimpse at the uh, dashboard um, shows the number of profile changes. Uh, this was a screenshot that I grabbed fairly recently, and you can see from Utah to California to Salt Lake, San Antonio, a number of pending profile changes are in the system. And some have even claimed new listings. Uh, Austin, there's 14, Chicago 20, Dallas 19. So what we're doing is taking these requests and giving them to our sales team. And we're going to describe that process. We also have our own website for marketing uh, the makeitlocal.com site and we're getting a steady flow of listing requests each and every day um, contact us I want to be listed and here's an example from a Paul Robbins at uh, the fence company in Austin okay so we're seeing a steady stream 
of local businesses submitting their online listing requests and profile changes to directory publishers. Um, Comporium is, re is receiving a steady flow of these ads, changes, and deletes via their makeitlocal.com U.S. business directory. Um, and as I mentioned, these requests are quickly passed to the local sales teams for verification, discovery, and needs assessment. And we're going to go into that a little bit further here. So on the right-hand side might be what uh, comes through on a listing request or a request to be modified. I've actually used my own business here. But um, at this point, this, the, the sales reps are, are getting a, a request, and they're starting to look into the information that's been provided as if these folks are a prospect because they're going to actually go out and call to verify the information. They're going to make sure that the, the NAP, the name, address, and phone number are correct, that they've indicated the proper internet yellow pages heading. But more importantly, they're going to start to look and find out what information may be missing. Have they included their website address? Oh, they haven't included the website address. Do they have social media links? Do they have their email address provided? Anything that's missing in the form on the right is a good, uh, good reason to, to have a conversation with the advertiser and, and as we'll describe here momentarily. So the sales reps are doing kind of a, a discovery of becoming familiar with the business, looking at their products, looking at their services, maybe looking them up on Google, finding their digital footprint, kind of evaluating their web presence. That's the first step in, the, in this process. They're using different sales tools. They're looking at uh, snapshot reports. Um, David, you could probably talk a little bit more detail about snapshot reports, but basically you're doing a glimpse of how that business is showing up online, correct? Yeah, that's correct, Scott. We, uh, we, we have a tool that we use, um, which is um, uh, kind of integrated in with makeitlocal.com that allows us not just to verify listings on our, our, our own sites and for our, our own footprints, but we're able to uh, run this through a little software program that pulls together a report that tells us everywhere on the internet that those customers are listed, if their listings are uh, matching up to the profile that they submitted to us through makeitlocal.com, which we know is the way they would want it to appear. Uh, kind of ranks them and grades them um, on uh, what pieces of information are missing. And so it's just another great tool for us to be able to go back and say, hey, you claimed your listing on makeitlocal.com. Do you want to see how your listings look elsewhere? And would you like to have one uh, source provider be able to take care of all those directory listings for you? Uh, we found that to be really, uh, really key in the directory business game because, you know, in years past, there might have been three or four directories in a community that uh, we served. Um, and, you know, every business wanted to make sure their listing was in those three or four directories because they didn't know which directory was going to be picked up and used. But today with, uh, with mobile uh, taking over with the Internet, um, there's hundreds of directories out there they could show up in, and it's almost just a daunting task for a, a business owner to even think about how do I deal with all these different directory companies. But uh, with, with Make It Local and, and, and some of the tools that they offer, um, we're able to say we can handle all those listings for you and, and push out your corrections and, and new information to those. So it's uh, really been a good vantage point for us. Perfect. Yeah, these are some of the tools that uh, publishers are using to really take advantage of just the listing business in general, um, showing how, they're sh uh, how the business is uh, showing up and then how they can take care of their needs. Another thing that um, is going on now as the uh, sales rep starts to look at the, the data that's been submitted is, you know, do they have a website? And believe it or not, I think we're up to about 60% of small businesses have a website today. That's uh, gone up probably 10% in the last year or two, but that means 40% don't. So there's a big opportunity for the publishers that are out there um, who offer website building, uh, website design and hosting to use that directory listing request find out if they have a website so when they call to verify name, address, and phone number, they can have a conversation about their web presence as well. Um, so what we do is say, ah, you don't have a website. Well, you know, we do have an internet directory. 
you can use that landing page, that business profile, uh, maybe as a temporary web site, web address. Um, happy to uh, to um, build that out for you, Mr. Mr. Customer. Um, or maybe they don't have a website but are interested in uh, investing in one. Certainly, there um, there's a conversation there about you know uh, good, better, best type packages for websites. Um, or most likely they do have a website. Um, our sales reps are using different tools to look at the performance of that website because we know from Google Webmaster Tools best practices that are published that a website should really meet three criteria uh, to be in the game of local search. It should be fast, meaning the pages should load rather quickly, nothing worse than sitting there waiting for a page to load. Um, it needs to be mobile responsive or mobile friendly, and it probably should be secure, meaning it has HTTPS. Um, but it, so if our sales reps find that a site is slow, it's not mobile friendly, or it's not secure, there's another reason to have a conversation about websites. Um, now, we also look for their visibility in local search. We do some Google searches for products and services and find out, are they on page one? Um, if they're on page three or four, then that can lead into a conversation about content management and search engine optimization. So from our perspective, speed, mobility, and security, and you could probably add content as well, uh, really drives visibility in the local search engines. And just a tip, 46% of consumers feel that a website design is one of the top criteria for deciding whether a company is credible or not. So even though they have a website, how, how good does it look and how well does it perform is part of the assessment or the digital checkup that our reps are doing when they're preparing to reach out to verify a listing request. Some of the other things they're looking at too, um, you, I showed that uh, form and it had places to put your Facebook page, your Google Plus page, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Pinterest, Instagram, etc. Um, today it's pretty important um, for small business, if they're especially trying to reach consumers, that they be active in social media. So if we find that they don't have a Facebook page, maybe there's an opportunity to set them up with one, right? And we're able to explain the importance of being social, recommending different channels to help connect that business with the consumers and build their online reputation. Um, so we're able to talk about the value of social media marketing, the importance of customer reviews, possibly internet videos, and just find out what they're doing online as we talk to them and see if they're interested in expanding in any of these areas. We're finding that obviously most businesses today do have social media, but if we look at their Facebook page or their Twitter or some of the other social channels, we'll see that you know they're not really updated. Uh, it's been six months since they've updated Facebook. They have uh, you know, a blog on their website, but it's old. There's nothing new. So again, a tip is talking about content strategy. You know, do you guys need help making some updates? Your Facebook hasn't been updated in quite a while. Um, do you subscribe to any reputation management services? Here's an example of that Austin Fence Company we mentioned earlier in the presentation. That's their blog. Sorry, no content matched your criteria. That's what happens when we got that listing request, we looked at the fence company and their website, clicked on their blog, no content. That's really bad, and that's something that we can help them with. So step three is um, as we gear up, we're starting to get ready to make that call. And it might go something to the effect of, dear Mr. Customer, thank you for reaching out to us. Um, we're calling to confirm everything that you submitted to us online. You must realize the value of online directory listings. It's a great way to be seen on our site and to boost page rank on local search engines. Um, David showed you his snapshot report. There are many different tools that are available, but we can typically do a quick listing scan to check that prospect's listings before making the call. Um, I believe this one is getlisted.org. It's now known as Moz. I entered in some information. I quickly found that this uh, advertiser has a 13% of his listings are complete, meaning that 84% are incomplete, and boy, could we help him. 
So the other, I think, big takeaway from this information that we're sharing is these are really not cold calls. These are warm leads. Somebody has reached out to the online directory and they found us. They found us in their local community. They found us by doing a search online. And so they know about us and they've made a request to us. So when we're as we're preparing all this prep and getting ready to make the call, we find that they take the call. And uh, they actually thank us for calling because we are verifying the information that's been provided. And then we're yet providing them a service. It's almost a digital consultation, if you will. So the primary purpose is to verify the information that's been submitted. But this can also lead into a discussion about listing syndication and possibly other digital services making that call. So we tend to uh, ask a lot of probing questions. <laughs> Where do you want to be listed in our internet directory? Uh, what locations are you targeting for new business? Um, we noticed you didn't submit a website address or Facebook page. Do you want to include those too? Um, is this an address change? Are you opening a new location? Um, how are you planning to update your listings everywhere else? So this is just part of the dialogue, uh, some of the questions that our reps may be prepared to answer or ask. And I think also the, the sales teams are very happy with the quality of the leads. As I mentioned, they are reaching out to us on purpose. And so those are, uh, I think, score pretty well from a lead gen perspective. Obviously, there's a talk that goes on about the directory itself. Most publishers now um, have an opportunity to not only talk about listings, verification, digital services, but they can also obviously print, uh, pitch their print advertising and their internet directories. Um, having a landing page in the directory or possibly advertising, maybe having a display ad banner, becoming a featured advertiser on our homepage, offering contextual advertising box display ads. So we tend to, you know, based on how well the call is going and, you know, if there's a genuine interest in expanding, um, we talk about, you know, how important home pages are, explaining the benefits of an imprint and online ad strategy, certainly begin to outline features and benefits of the internet directory and obviously try to propose some local advertising as well. So, Sales approach. Um, we find this to be, you know, our best practices is to adopt a consultative sales approach. Um, we ask questions and we listen. We do a lot of discovery. Um, we do explain what it takes to achieve the best digital marketing results. Uh, we know this just from experience. Um, we do an assessment. We show any apparent gaps in the digital marketing strategies and the tactics that are being employed. And we make recommendations based on our discovery and a needs assessment. And of course, we love to share success stories. So um, as our approach continues, we are uh, sharing information about best practices. We continue to ask questions. We talk every, about everything. We're prepared, our, our teams now are well beyond print, well beyond just online. We are digital consultants and we can talk about SEO and we can talk about visibility and site performance, ask how well the website's working, how many leads are you generating, you know, do you know if, what kind of reputation you have online, how are you monitoring the web, do you know what customers are saying about you, are you getting alerts whenever you're mentioned, and what are your people doing to get new ratings, reviews, and recommendations? So we also run into advertisers and customers that seem to have everything, right? They've got their listings taken care of. They've got their reputation management. They've got their social media marketing. There's always something, though, that they may not have. Um, do they have an Internet video? Um, we're finding that these are uh, we're using these leads to, to upsell everything from internet videos because they're a great way to showcase a business and have them tell their story. Uh, we're doing things like mobile marketing 
SMS text marketing, great way to build loyalty and deliver coupons. We're managing Google AdWords, pay-per-click campaigns. Um, obviously, people know that that's a great way to get leads immediately. Um, we're doing things such as Facebook advertising. We find it's a cost-effective way to segment, target, and reach uh, the desired audience. And then if they've got just about everything, uh, David, you might want to talk about the success you've had, your team has had with display ad retargeting. I mean, it's really hot right now. Um, you know, put a banner on our directory and we'll put that banner on CNN and New York Times and ESPN, right? Um, they may, if they're doing that already, we might ask them, well, what's your CPM? Because we think we might be able to save them some money. Do you want to talk a bit about retargeting, David? Uh, yes, yeah, so display display um, advertising, promatic advertising. Uh, a lot of people call it by by different names. Retargeting uh, is a pretty pretty hot digital offering uh, today. Um, Kapori Media Services has really um, done well uh, over the last year uh, with rolling out a, a strategy with that. And it's kind of like you said, Scott. When when we're out working our directory campaigns and we're uh, in front of customers, they understand. Uh, uh, that ad platform, I guess, better than anything. They're used to placing ads in the phone book. We're able to say we can take this same ad that you have in the phone book. We can make sure that it's placed on makeitlocal.com, whether it be banner ads or box ads. And then we also talk to them about broadening that distribution. So we're able to say, hey, how would you like to have the same ad that you have in the phone book actually seen on a daily basis, you know, a hundred times, a thousand times, or, uh, however many times you'd like to to have it put in front of your customer. And uh, that really seems to resonate uh, with people that are buying online directories and buying in print directories. It's simple, it's easy for them to understand how many eyeballs are seeing my ad. And um, our, our sales teams have adopted it really well because of that same strategy. They're really, it's really easy to talk to, really easy to show the customer, and um, it's really helped us put bundles together with our print advertising and, and, and really grow fast. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so just to summarize um, where we've been so far, um, we suggest treating listing requests like gold. I mean, they are so valuable for our sales teams. Um, the uh, SMBs that are, are contacting your uh, directory uh, website, you know, they found it online. And so we believe it's a great opportunity to reach out and share more information. Um, we like to explore what interests them most explain the gaps and best practices for digital marketing strategy, and then we just try to find ways to help. Um, we share as much information as, as possible. Uh, we try not to overload them because there are a lot of products and services that we can talk about. So we might be scheduling follow-ups to discuss proposals and next steps, but um, we're always moving towards a close and hopefully uh, asking for referrals. So I'm um, happy to open it up for questions and answers. And um, Lisa, have we had any uh, submitted thus far? Uh, actually, no. No questions have been coming in yet. But uh, as a reminder uh, to all of you while you've been listening, if there is anything you want to ask, just feel free to type it in the question queue box, and we'll go ahead and uh, go over it um, okay. anytime. So if there's anyone else out there that wants to submit a question, please go ahead. While we're waiting for those uh, questions to possibly come in, and if there aren't any now, we can certainly uh, answer them later. Um, just wanted to give uh, a little bit more about us. Um, Make it local marketing is the official uh, technology partner, business development, and digital marketing affiliate for MakeItLocal.com, which is a U.S. business directory managed by a strategic alliance between Shrewd Marketing and Comporium Media Services. Um, sample of our website to the right. We are partnering with uh, ADP uh, publisher members, uh, local media companies to deliver uh, digital marketing services that generate leads for small business. Uh, the makeitlocal.com uh, directory site is really a lead generator these days and is available as a co-brand or white label internet directory publishing solution and digital marketing suite. Um, we uh, specialize in directory production, video production, 
website production, and have uh, a myriad of digital services that uh, practically, uh, we believe, are some of the most comprehensive in the industry. That's everything from listings management, syndication of profiles and landing pages, snapshot reports, managing ad campaigns, providing media services, everything from a production of a video to uh, a YouTube channel, obviously yellow pages online and display ads, visibility management, if it uh, comes to social media, blogging, reputation intelligence, managing reviews, SEO. And then just real quick uh, before we uh, adjourn or answer any questions, um, we do offer outbound telesales to, advertise, uh, to publishers that want digital services to be sold in their neighborhood under uh, a white label arrangement. We are doing ad composition, graphics production, pagination, and of course website design and hosting. Um, certainly invite you to contact us about lead generation, publisher services, and exclusive sales territories in your neighborhood or local markets. And there are several videos out there that can also provide some helpful information. I do have a question, uh, Scott, that was just submitted. Perfect. Uh, it says, what is the process of display ad retargeting and what platform is used? David, that might be a question for you, but I believe we're using uh, the Google uh, solution, correct? Uh, yes, yeah, so we work, uh, we work with, with Make It Local uh, on a, uh, a platform offering. We use the Google Ad Network, and so we place all of our ads uh, through the Google Ad Networks. Um, and uh, that's all managed internally with Compora Media Services. So we, we, we place the ads, um, we offer reporting, tracking uh, back to the customer. Uh, they can log into their Make It Local uh, dashboard to be able to see you know, all of their reporting and tracking on an ongoing basis. Fantastic. Yeah, and some of the publishers that I've uh, talked to um, really like that program. Uh, they actually say you don't have to sell it. Um, it sells itself. It's so easy to explain. They actually have uh, people calling them to uh, to inquire about the the service. It's it's pretty cost effective. It's based on budget, and um, people like to see their ad um, in and around the community and and online. Uh, the, the local news uh, sites and and possibly some of the national uh, syndicated. Uh, 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 advertising channels, networks. Good question. Well, I would like to thank everybody for joining us today. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, we just wanted to share some best practices, tips, and recommendations on how to leverage directory listings uh, as fuel for your sales teams to grow your print business, your online business, and your digital uh, agency solutions. Um, look forward to, to reaching out and, and having conversations with uh, anybody who would like to know more information. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, ADP. Uh, thank you, David. And everybody can have a, a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Scott. And thank you for everyone for attending today's webinar. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and you can email us at info at ADP.org. Thank you.